Hey guys, it's Holly, and today I'm going to be showing you my Journey Girls doll. This is Michaela, and she is from the 2014 Holiday Collection. And as you can see, she has the purple and black gown and accessories. And that is also carried into the box color. So you've got the black and purple box. And on the front here, it says London. And it's got a little crown and little decorative swirls on it. And on the back of the box, it says, Michaela joins the Journey Girls for a sparkling 2014 holiday season in London. This culinary lover celebrates the occasion in royal style with her grand purple gown and luxurious accessories. So I'm going to open her up and I'm going to show you guys the doll, her gown, her accessories, basically everything there is to see about her. As you can see, the front of the box is kind of, um, it's a clear plastic window, but it's domed, which is kind of nice. So the box itself is really pretty if you wanted to display the doll. I think she would look really nice on a display shelf. And then on the top, there is also a handle as well. So I think that is really cool. You can get Michaela at Toys R Us. She was $49.99, but I got her on sale for 25% off. I got really lucky to get that price because they sold out really fast. And right now she is $44.99, so she is currently on sale. So let's open her up and take a closer look. Okay, you guys, so I finally got her out of the box. That was a little bit of a chore. <laughs> and I will say overall quality of the doll I really like, although I had a really difficult time getting her to stand. So I'm just kind of waiting for her to tip over. Um, it seems as though her legs are in need of an adjustment, I guess, because... I just kind of had to really wiggle them to get her to stand, but she is just gorgeous. I love this kind of royal purple dress of hers and the black accessories as well. So the reason I picked this doll is because the moment I saw her, she reminded me of my daughter, Alex. And when I showed the doll to Alex and said, I think this doll kind of looks like you, she agreed. And then we both kind of fell in love with the doll and had to have it. So Alex has decided she wants to sell her in her room, and we're going to call her Elizabeth. Even though she's Michaela on the box, we're going to call her Elizabeth. So a few things about her. She has this really long, dark, curly hair, which Alex and I have as well. And so here is a look at her hair. It's not as full as I would like for it to be. It seems like if you look in the back here, it almost looks as if she's just doesn't have a whole lot of hair, almost like she's balding or something. I think they could have filled that in a little bit more, but it's not a big deal. It's pretty soft. It does have a little bit of a crunch to her hair. Um, she's got a piece of plastic in there from the packaging. She had like a lot of little plastic pieces. So again, royal purple dress. It kind of has this um, sheer panel on the top, and then it has like a kind of like a mermaid tail, I guess, design in the ribbon right here. It has a nice little um, flower with a clear rhinestone flower in the center of it. And then it has this spiral design that goes all the way around the dress. So you have these kind of like layers. And if you look at it, it kind of, I'll take her purse off. It kind of spirals around the back of the dress and it comes down, so it goes around, which I think is really cool. And then you have that same ribbon that goes all the way around the bottom. And underneath, it has a piece of, I guess this would be called, it's like a netting, so like a tool. And for her shoes, she has these like, um, I guess they'd be called rubber flats for her shoes which are cute, but they could, they're being held on by rubber bands right now. They could be part of the problem of why I can't get her to stand, but I really think something's going on with her legs. She is shedding little ribbons everywhere. She has a pretty little um, faux fur shawl on, which will slip off. So you can change her clothes. And she has this really pretty silver tone um, teardrop or pear shaped necklace which is just kind of like a stretchy band is all it is so you could take that off as well she has these black 
net-like gloves, which I think I would have liked these better if they were like a silky black. I think that would have been really pretty, but I still like these. And then she has a little pearl bracelet with a little rhinestone accessory on it, I guess. And then she does have this um, really pretty headband that matches her dress and her hair. And it has a really pretty flower um, on the top, which matches this little flower on her dress. Now she does have this little purse, which I think is so cute. It has, on the front of it is the kind of shiny, silky, purple, and then the little flap is, and the back is the same ribbon fabric as on her dress. And then she also has this little clear um, flower, rhinestone flower accessory that matches on her dress as well around her waist. So you can actually open up this little purse and put something inside. So like if you wanted to play like she was going to a ball, you could add like a little lipstick or something in there. And then it has this little um, silver braided cord style handle on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take off her gloves. Like I said, they're like a black netting, I guess you would call it. And I'll take off this one as well, just so that you guys can see her hands better. Her hands are molded to where the two center fingers are like fused together. So it's kind of like the live long and prosper <laughs> hands, which I mean, they look okay. I think you could probably have it, you know, pretend like she's holding on to something because it is kind of curved. Um, I really like her face. She has like real, almost like real eyelashes. So the eyelashes are um, rooted, so they come out of her eyes. She's got really pretty brown eyes that are just really shiny and very realistic looking. Pretty pink lips, um, blushy cheeks. In addition to the rooted eyelashes, there's also a little eyelashes painted on as well. So that's kind of nice. And then her eyebrows are nicely done because they look like real hair, like they're just brushed on really gently. And I really like this look of this doll because she reminds me a bit of an American Girl doll. And if you guys are interested in the American Girl dolls, you know they're a little bit more pricey. Where these dolls, because she was the holiday doll, she was $49.99, but they have Journey Girls in regular, like the non-holiday, so it's like regular clothing for $40, so $39.99, which is really affordable for a good quality doll. And then you can buy the outfit set, so like if you wanna change their clothes, it comes with the outfits and all the little accessories for like $20, so it's really affordable, which I think is great because it's nice to have an affordable, good quality doll on the market. So I'll go ahead and take off her, oh, that's all attached with plastic. I did not know that until this moment. <laughs> I'll take off her little shawl thing. And of course I'm getting little hairs, fuzzies everywhere. Oh man, I don't wanna cut anything I'm not supposed to. Let's see here if I can. So I've always kind of wanted an American Girl doll, but then when they came out with these Journey, doll, Journey Girl dolls, I was like, okay, well those are a really good quality doll and I would totally be okay with <laughs> having one of these instead of the American Girl doll, even though I would still like to have an American Girl doll. And then they have the Our Generation dolls at Target, which are all very similar as well. So here's the little shawl. It came off pretty easily other than the fact that it had the little plasticky things all over it. And now her necklace is twisted. There we go. So you can see her dress a little bit better. It is a sleeveless dress, so you will see her arms. And I still have the little plasticky things off of there, on there, but I'll get them off. So, you know, her arms have a decent range of motion. They don't bend at the elbow, they're just straight. And this dress Velcros down the back. So what's nice about her is you can keep her in this gown and have her look all fancy for display, which is what we're going to do. Or you can change her outfit into many of the other different outfits that they have and just use her for like a regular 
play doll tissue. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take off her dress so that you guys can see what her body is made out of because I'm kind of curious as well. Okay, this is kind of kind of strange, kind of odd, but her body is mostly like the rubbery plastic, squishy, but right here to here is like a cloth, like a thick cloth, and then she has a tag on her. So a little different, I guess. She will sit, so her, le her legs bend, so she sits pretty well. Um, I think I like the way this is. I like it better than if this was cloth, especially since she has, you can kind of see this with the dress. I think if you had the fancy dress on her and you saw cloth there, that that would be a little bit odd. So I do like that. Like I said, I think her legs were a little, um, a little off, which is why I was having a hard time getting her to stand or it could just be these shoes. I'm going to go ahead and take the shoes off so we can see what her feet look like. These are being held on just with clear rubber bands. And it's nice that a lot of the a lot of the clothing sets come with the different accessories like shoes and a handbag and things like that. I was really surprised for like 20 bucks. I can't get the shoe off. For 20 bucks, like how much stuff they include in the little kits. And they also have like luggage that you can buy for them. So it's a lot like American Girl where you can buy all the different little accessories. I think they even have a scooter, you know, that sort of thing. So her feet are pretty normal looking. There's no separation in the toes. So they just look kind of like normal, normal feet. She is kind of skinny, but she's heavy. Like you can feel a lot of the weight is in her head or like her um, upper body, like from her torso up. She just feels very, very top heavy. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time getting her to stand. I don't know. Overall, I really love this doll. I think she's so pretty. I'm going to get her dressed again because, well, it's just more appropriate that way. <laughs> but that was pretty easy to get off. I think it'd be really easy to change her clothes if you wanted to change styles and things like that. But that is pretty much it for this doll. I really love her. We're going to display Elizabeth, like I said. Um, Alex wants to display her in her room. So that is what we are going to do with her. And I think we'll get a lot of enjoyment out of her, um, even though we're not going to necessarily play with her. She's just very beautiful. And I really hope that the Journey Girls come out with another holiday doll next year. And I am going to consider her next holiday, next Christmas, and I am going to consider maybe purchasing a regular Journey Girls doll that we can actually play with and enjoy because this one's a little bit more special to us and we want to display her. So tell me what you guys think of the Journey Girls dolls down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!